Today, I'm going to be talking about some key points in regards to asbestos management within buildings. The main points to consider with your uh, asbestos register for your building is that the register should provide clear and concise information. Um, I often say that it should answer three basic questions as a starter. So it should say what the material is, where the material is and what you need to do about it. Uh, it should also be used as a training document for any new staff and it should be a live document that's updated with any removal works that may take place. Some key points to implementing the asbestos management plan is once you have the register making it available to all relevant parties on site so inductions for new staff and it can also form part of any general plan regarding asbestos materials. It should also include emergency responses. And the key thing with the asbestos management plan is also to ensure that it's reviewed yearly. This review can take the form of an extra minute within your general management meeting to see if there are any additional requirements or any improvements that can be made in the procedures and processes. So one of the key points with asbestos management is that there will be additional requirements if you're doing a refurbishment survey. The current plan that you will have for your building will just be a management plan but there will be caveats and limitations within that plan. So for instance if your refurbishment project involves any plant or machinery being decommissioned or if you're removing any walls or partitions you will need extra inspections within those areas as they won't be covered in your current register. So the main point in regards to any removal works is to make sure that you do use a licensed asbestos removal contractor for any items that are due to be removed. Now the works can be bonded or friable. If the works are friable, there are additional requirements that are required. One important thing is that your removal contractor must hold an unrestricted asbestos license and the works must be notified to both WorkSafe and the Department of Fire and Emergency Services at, as a minimum of seven days before the works start. The role of the appointed consultant when helping with asbestos removal work is really to act like the client's representative on site. So we will be involved in all phases of the removal process. We're on site initially when the works are being set up. We can also view the smoke test of the enclosed area prior to the work starting particularly important just to make sure that everything is all in place, uh, negative pressure is correct and that the enclosure is fully sealed. We also carry out control monitoring during the works and then finally when the area is ready to be viewed we will do a visual inspection and a clearance air test which will confirm that everything is okay for the area to be dismantled and then the follow-on construction works can continue. Thank you very much and if you feel you require any further information or we can help with any asbestos removal elements within your building, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.